Alright, hello citizens of the Nigerverse. It is not you once again, and an interesting development has happened, and mainly over on WWE Shop today, and it kind of opened up the can of worms, and now um, people are speculating about it. So, oh, earlier on today, some Ken Shamrock merch dropped on WWE Shop, so it led people to speculate, hey, Hey, uh, and it's brand new Ken Shamrock merch, so let people speculate. Has, does this mean Ken Shamrock has signed a new deal with WWE, a Legends contract, perhaps? Um, and what, and does this mean he may be inducted into the Hall of Fame, perhaps? So, <clears throat> excuse me. For right now, it's speculation. Nothing's really been confirmed yet, but uh, but uh, people are talking, and and um, <clears throat> and yeah, it's interesting. So. Oh, I figure let's uh let's talk about it. So, oh um right off the bat, uh I'm gonna show you guys the merch real quick. All right, so here are the new Ken Shamrock pieces of merch. Uh, we have this uh T-shirt here, kind of kind of a a uh, retro maybe throwback kind of a uh, shirt right there. Uh, or, um, <coughs> they're showing off uh Shamrock and stuff like that, and uh not not unlike things we've seen before. And we have like this shirt as well. Owen's got the slogan uh, "World's Most Dangerous Man," uh, and which is Ken Shamrock's kind of a uh, kind of um, nickname slash moniker. Then we have this hoodie here. Uh, got long sleeve shirt and stuff. So, uh, so it's pretty much just the shirts for now. But it sparked a debate uh, whether or not we are getting a Ken Shamrock merch. Uh, but this is kind of unrelated. But uh, we also got uh, some new CM Punk merch, merch uh, including this one. Including obviously the hoodies and the T-shirts have been out for a while. But then this one, uh, Hell Froze Over, which it definitely did when he returned. And we got Daddy's Back uh, merch for Randy Orton. Uh, so yeah, so that drop of merch, at least for Ken Shamrock, has gotten people talking. Does this mean Ken, Sham Ken Shamrock is back? Are they anticipating a Legends deal? Is Or are they just dropping Ken Shamrock merch just for the sake of dropping it? Because as uh, Ken Shamrock has had some, uh, some merch before, mostly in action figure form. He's been a part of the WWE Legends uh, collection of action figures and stuff like that, even in his WWE absence. So, um... <coughs> So, uh, so uh, admittedly, he, um, he not, um, I'm not necessarily the biggest, uh, um, but the thing is, I, I know of Ken Shamrock, but I'm not, like, a super mega fan, but I, I know of him, I know, uh, oh, he started off in UFC, uh, mainly made his name in UFC, uh, came over to WWE, he, uh, then, obviously, WWF in, uh, 1997, and, uh, and, uh, which is actually, uh, I guess his reason for being there at WrestleMania 13 in refing, uh, Steve Austin versus Bret Hart, which I reviewed, uh, way back in, I believe, uh, March or April, uh, from my WrestleMania review, so if you haven't already, go check out that review. Um, <coughs> so I guess I explained why he was there for that. At, um, uh, at, uh, he, he stayed there for a couple of years. Years, uh, he he won uh, championships and things like that. Uh, had uh, I get the exact uh, championships he won. So, oh, in WWE he was Intercontinental Champion. Um, he even uh, looks like according to Wiki he had a WWF, WWF championship shot. Uh, so he was uh, Intercontinental Champion. He was Tag Team Champion, and he was King of the Ring. And um. Uh, uh, and tag team champion with the big boss man as part of the corporation, and uh, and I know he feuded with guys like you know The Rock and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so Ken Shamrock then uh, left F uh, FWWE uh, slash WWF, uh, went to TNA, spent had some time there, uh, spent some time in New Japan as well, and actually ended up making like a couple returns and stuff, uh, not just to uh, TNA, but even back to UFC uh, in his time since. Uh, but uh, stepping put back to be in the Hall of Fame, and it makes even more sense now that uh, WWE and UFC are kind of merged together under TKO, uh, which I also just saw an update that uh, they apparently want to reduce the amount of house shows, which, which does kind of suck for those who like attending house shows, but at the same time, it allows the superstars to rest up and not have as grueling of a touring schedule. I think that'll be really good to help them rest and recuperate 
and I think that's often why we get so many injuries, is because, as, man, like, the life of a uh, W superstar, or, or uh, any, um, or any performer in pro wrestling is, it's definitely tough, um, uh, it's tougher than a lot of people realize, but, yeah, so they want to reduce those, but, no, but nevertheless, uh, as, um, <laughs> As all this is speculating as to whether or not Ken Shamrock will reappear, and uh, Ken Shamrock is someone who, who, um, who I said, had me personally not a huge fan of him. I know of him. I know of his work and stuff. Uh, a lot of people feel he was kind of ahead of his time. I'm, uh, I'm like, um, like UFC and um, and mixed martial arts to an extent really intertwining with wrestling wouldn't really be something prevalent until later years. There's a um, there's because later on you had guys like you know Kurt Angle or uh, Matt Riddle or uh, Ronda Rousey or Brock Lesnar after his uh, stint in the UFC. He's a Ken Shamrock kind of ahead of his time, in fact. Uh, and and this is and I know some of this, uh, quite a few of this, a lot more of this, uh, because uh, Brian Zane of Wrestling with Regret did a video on it. So if I remember, I will definitely link that in the uh, description. Uh, and uh, I gotta I gotta make like a mental note. Oh, and probably like. Like a physical note to include the link, but I definitely will try to remember it for this video. Uh, oh, but but uh, apparently Ken Shamrock was the first to introduce uh, submission slash like tap outs. Uh, oh, in uh, the sport of pro wrestling, it just wasn't a thing until then. But and but uh, really wanting to incorporate it there. But yeah, a lot of people felt like he was kind of ahead of his time. Uh, I'm uh, not always the best in the promos department, but and but um <coughs> but. But uh, that kind of style wouldn't be something that would be prevalent until later on. On and uh, a lot of people wanted him to mix it up with guys like Kurt Angle and stuff like that. At uh, at uh, Kurt Angle, obviously he uh, he uh, more, more amateur wrestling, amateur background, Olympian stuff like that. But at really being becoming even more adept to the WWE style while mixing it with that other style. Also, a lot of people want that there. Or and, and uh, of course uh, people like Bret Hart, or, uh, who are also kind of you know uh, submission specialists in their own right. Although although Bret Hart, uh, of course, as we know, for 1997 wasn't much longer for the WWF. But but uh, if Kevin Shamrock does go into the Hall of Fame, I think it'll definitely be a well earned uh, earned uh, even though his time in WWF. If, um, was kind of brief. If you can argue, he and guys like uh, he and De and Severn kind of paved the way for or a bit more of like a relationship slash like bond between like WWE and UFC that did lead to people like Matt Riddle or uh, Brock Lesnar or Bobby Lashley he, after their MMA careers, of course, or Ronda Rousey or even um, even uh, Daniel Cormier, even though Daniel Cormier didn't really. Um, didn't really compete, but uh, him being involved, or even to an extent, Kane Velasquez, is. But, but yeah, yeah, so oh, for those contributions, definitely worthy of a Hall of Fame slot. A lot of people have wanted him actually to be in the Hall of Fame for a while, oh, but sadly, with how WWE is, oftentimes the only times you really get into the Hall of Fame is when you're in the company's good graces, which is unfortunate. But um, for him to finally get beginning his due possibly next year, or as well as the other stuff uh, potentially shaping up for the Hall of Fame, uh, it's going to be an interesting one. But obviously, but um, but I am saving that because it is a, kind of a big update when it comes to that. I will be saving that for System Shock Radio. But, but yes, yeah, so that's going to do it for this kind of little mini discussion video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video so you can see as soon as it drops. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, um, do you think Ken Shamrock... Uh, will go in the Hall of Fame? Do you think he should go in the Hall of Fame? And do you want him to do uh, more with, when it comes to uh, WWE? Um, if they brought him back, just and I imagine if he is with the Legends contract, he'll be like a lot of the other Legends where they'll kind of uh, appear every now and then, kind of doing some stuff every now and then. But otherwise, we will see. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Peace.